Hello, I'm Corey Ryan, and welcome to Focal Point. Today, we're joined by Adam Hutchinson, Chief of Staff at Texas State Technical College, right here in Harlingen. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Corey. Nice to be here. So, um, just to catch everybody up to speed who might not know what um, the role of the Chief of Staff is at a university, can you just give me an idea of what your day-to-day uh, -day res responsibilities and stuff at TSCC are? Sure. I think I have the best job at TSCC. The Chief of Staff works directly with the President and really as an execution officer for a lot of the projects that go on in the President's office. So I have the privilege of working with um, the rest of the President's Cabinet, the other Vice Presidents for instruction and student development, finance and administrative services to really help move the college forward from an overall strategic standpoint, making sure that we're accomplishing the goals that we set out. Okay, and right now at TSDC, it's kind of, seems like you're going two fronts right now. The two-year technical programs that you're really pitching, and you have the, the new exciting four-year programs that are with your university center that uh, you're going to be able to bring to Harlingen. But uh, right now, let's just talk about the, the value of a two-year degree and some of the programs you have. I understand that you've been uh, doing a presentation with economic development corporations across the Rio Grande Valley just about the value of these two-year technical degrees. Can you just go into talking about why these programs have value for people looking to expand their careers? Absolutely. What we found uh, not only locally but statewide, and you'll find the research at uh, the state comptroller's office, um, was that there are really more jobs for two-year technical graduates then there are graduates to fill those jobs unlike actually four-year bachelor's degree programs where there are uh, more graduates than there are jobs to be filled and it creates that imbalance between what the job market can sustain and the number of graduates trying to get into that job market but specifically for TSTC what that means is that the high skill high wage jobs that our graduates are pursuing there's lots of them, and our graduates are finding employment not just in the Rio Grande Valley, but really all over the state. We've got um, a significant number of employers in the Coastal Bend area, uh, in western Texas, in the Central Hill Country area, and even in the Metroplex. So the job skills that our graduates are leaving TSTC with are really employable all over the state and at a very high wage rate. Well, specifically, what kinds of careers are these? What kind of programs are they getting at TSDC to get into these careers? Well, we have a full complement of technical career programs, but let me give you a, a couple of highlights. Um, one of the most popular ones at the college is in the allied health field. We know that allied health and healthcare in general is a booming industry. As um, generations get older and the cost of healthcare continues to increase, the need for skilled workers in the healthcare, healthcare industry from surgical technicians, um, and licensed vocational nurses all the way into the dental professions and um, healthcare in general, those demand, those demand occupations are getting um, more and more filled by colleges like TSTC. So our graduates are finding ample employment not only locally with the local healthcare uh, providers from home health, but also to hospitals and um, agency care. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for our graduates there. In addition to Allied Health, where again we're seeing a lot of placement at high wage jobs, we're also finding that the more specific technical careers like um, chemical environmental technology, some of our computer programs that include uh, computer programming, network security, uh, network setup and maintenance, telecom is another one. So these are two year high skill, high paying uh, job fields that our students come to us and whether they have a broad base of knowledge or not, they can get the full complement of training at TSTC and that connection to employers allows our graduates to move right into the workforce. So of the 30 plus programs that TSTC is offering, uh, all of them have to be connected to a set of employers that are, that frankly are hiring. So we've got Allied Health, Computer Information Systems and those programs, we've got um, some of the high engineering programs like wind energy technology. We've got programs uh, even in some of the more perhaps traditional community or technical college programs like uh, welding and machine shop, aviation maintenance. We're the only aviation program in all of South Texas. Um, we've got aviation maintenance, auto body, auto collision, even agriculture programs right on the TSTC campus. And the other thing that TSTC, um, you seem to real, I really seem to realize is there's really a focus on getting the students into careers. Um, other than aligning programs with the careers that are available, what kind of other kinds of things can students at TSDC expect in terms of getting career placement? That's a great question. From a student development standpoint, I think it's important for the community here in Harlingen to recognize that TSDC 
um, offers the full complement of services that you would expect from a state college. So that includes dormitory and residence housing, um, a full complement of student life activities. We have student clubs, student government association. Um, there's lots of activities for students, including intramural sports um, and opportunities to be involved in different service projects all around the campus um, and within the community as well, I should add. So in addition to um, just going to class or just focusing on a technical career, it really is a full service college with cafeteria and housing, uh, wellness and sports center, all of those things that are traditionally part of that college experience are right here in Harlingen. And now um, in the coming year, students are even going to get more of the experience. It's maybe some of the students that are maybe looking for more of a four year mm -hmm. degree program or even graduate school program. And that's with the uh, University Center. Can you just tell our visitors, a little, our viewers a little bit about the the University Center, what it's going to be and when sure. it's going to open? The University Center is a really exciting project for us. For several years, we've been very focused on reaching back into the pipeline, specifically partnering with school districts like HCISD in dual enrollment programs, transitioning those students into the two-year model, that's TSDC, where students can get either general education classes or specific technical education classes to move on into the workforce. And now we're entering into a new phase. In partnership with the city of Harlingen, TSTC will be the home of the University Center. It's a joint project between the city and the college uh, where the city has paid to build part of a building for us on the campus and we're leasing the land and that building will house our university partners that are offering four-year and graduate degree programs right here in Harlingen. So no longer would a student um, here in Harlingen have to necessarily leave the area to go pursue a four-year degree. In fact, some of our strongest partners right here in Harlingen are UT Brownsville and UT Pan American. So those are familiar names, but as well as those familiar names, there are universities from outside the valley. Uh, Texas A&M Kingsville and Corpus Christi are there, but also the University of Houston, Our Lady of the Lake University from San Antonio, um, and Wayland Baptist University are all part of the University Center. They'll be bringing over 80 programs to the University Center right here in Harlingen beginning this fall. So as you drive up and down the loop right now, you see the building right there um, immediately across from our Learning Resource Center. That two-story, 38,000 square foot building will be done sometime this summer and open for business this fall. You'll see more and more over the next coming weeks um, those universities advertising their courses to be taught right here in Harlingen. The neat secret, I suppose, for TSTC is many of those courses have been taught at our college for some time now, but we didn't have them centrally located in a unique facility like the University Center. They were sort of sprinkled around the campus, and now we've built a center where we can focus those activities, elevate, their aware, elevate the awareness of, the, of those activities, and even attract some new university partners to teach high-level courses right here in Harlingen. And it, it, we're talking distance learning, right? Well, virtual classrooms? In some, What's in the setup some cases, there? yes. Um, they will be distance learning in some cases. That is, we'll have a full uh, teleconnect presence, so there'll be cameras and microphones and all those things that are a part of that. But in many cases, they're actually face-to-face -face courses. That is, if there are enough students in the classroom, those universities have committed to send a professor to teach those classes locally. Our Lady of the Lake University is a great example. About three years ago, OLLU came to TSTC interested in offering a doctoral program right in Harlingen. And we partnered with them to provide them some logistics and some space and to help facilitate that offering. Now they've got um, well over 35 students involved in a doctoral program on our campus right now. Those classes are taught face to face. That professor travels from San Antonio, meets with the cohorts on the weekends, and they do all their doctoral classwork right here in Harlingen. So that's an example of an out-of-town university making a combination for Harlingen residents. So some of those classes will be taught telepresence or via the internet or some other uh, video technology, but many of them will be taught face-to-face, -face, and the professors will actually come to Harlingen. Overall, with all of these different exciting opportunities, what impact do you see um, TSDC, and what role do you see TSDC playing in the future of Harlingen? Well, I think... Um, TSTC has a, a really unique role in the state and now I'll admit my bias Corey but I think TSTC Harlingen is really a unique um, a unique campus even within that TSTC family statewide. We've been working very hard on the dual enrollment side for a number of years and in fact we're really proud of the, of the relationship that we have with the school district as it relates to dual enrollment and we've seen a tremendous increase 
in the college readiness of students because of dual enrollment. They're coming to the college with better preparation than they used to. Um, they already have college credits uh, in their inventory when they come to us, and they're getting to their degree plans and through their degree plans even faster. So when you think about that role that TSTC plays, um, it's a very exciting one. In fact, this spring we will have early college high school graduates marching the stage at TSTC before they march the stage at the Harlingen graduation. So that's one part of it. But the other part is what it does for the workforce in general. Those students who transition to TSTC really have options they've never had before. In the past they would um, come to TSTC and their best option was really to go straight into the workforce. And while we know there's a lot of value in going straight into those high paying jobs that our training prepares them for, some students really want to go on to four year education or at the very least want to keep four year education kind of on the front burner as an option for them. The addition to the university center as a part of our pipeline allows students really the best of all worlds. They can get that tuition free education as a high school student through dual enrollment. They can transition right on our campus to the two-year degree programs, whether they're pursuing a technical degree, an Associate of Applied Science, or an academic degree, an Associate of Science degree. And then if they so choose, they can enter the workforce right away through one of our excellent placement opportunities, or they can roll right into the University Center and pursue their bachelor's, onto their master's and PhD if they so choose. In the middle of all of that, we know that we serve a much broader community than just the high school students, that there are people in the community who want to take advantage of those resources. And so people who live and work in Harlingen and in the surrounding area will have access to that university center. They're already accessing the college for continuing education and other professional development opportunities. So I guess in answer to your question, I really see TSTC Harlingen as sort of that hub of education for the community. We're drawing students uh, not just from the Harlingen city proper, but from all over the surrounding counties and areas. Uh, we're seeing a tremendous growth in our student population, and with that growth comes more opportunities. So it's an exciting time to be at TSDC. And it sounds like it's uh, you guys are offering a lot of exciting things for the students at Harlands and CISD and for this community. So, And I thank you for coming here and stopping by and sharing some of this with us. It's been a real treat. Thank you very much for having me, Corey. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Focal Point. Be sure to visit www.hcisd.org, facebook.com slash HCISD for various KHGN programs. I'm Corey Ryan. Be sure to join us next time as we take another look into Harlingen CISD's winning team.